Hey, Tom, make sure you're getting this. Well, Terry, I haven't seen you this pathetic since you ended up in the same reading class as your little brother back in junior high school. Ah, uh, leave me alone, Carrie. You know my little brother was wicked smart. It was just a matter of time before he caught up to me. <laughs> you weren't that hard to catch considering you kept getting held back. Why don't you tell Tommy here what happened to you? Okay, she-devil. <laughs> Listen, hey, Tommy, uh, basically what happened was I was getting so excited opening up all these 2009 Upper Deck Baseball card packs that I wound up dislocating my shoulder. You know, I think it happened around the 700th pack or so. Uh, but don't worry, I'm going to be back in action in no time. <laughs> yeah, at least until 09 Upper Deck Piece of History Baseball comes out. Then we're back to square one again. It's because it's going to have some amazing freaking cards to collect with an autograph rookie card and two memorabilia cards in every box on average. Carrie, I gotta get me one of those autograph rookie cards of David Price. I mean, he's not on the Sox, but he dominates batters like old El Tiante. Remember Louis Tiant? <laughs> well, wait till you see all the memorabilia cards, too. With swatches from the players' real game used jerseys. I know how you love those. I think you just want me to get some more of those cards so you can play scratch and sniff with some of those like Dustin Pedroia's game used jersey cards. Hey, the only reason I even got that idea was because I walked in on you sniffing up a David Ortiz jersey card like they were your mom's chocolate chip cookies. Oh yeah, oh yeah. And in my defense, Pedroia's jersey card smells like Fenway at opening day. Ah, <sighs> heavenly. Well, since you're getting all starry-eyed on me, Carrie, what about a piece of Hollywood memorabilia cards where they actually take the costumes of famous actors and actresses they wear in films and they put those swatches right on the trading cards? I love those. I'm going after a piece of Hollywood memorabilia cards of Humphrey Bogart, Bruce Lee, Adam Sandler, Will Ferrell, Heath Ledger, and Mr. Ben Affleck. While you're doing that, I'm going to be looking for cards of rockets like Rachel McAdams and Drew Barrymore and even Ben Affleck. And if we get real lucky, we might even find some of them upper deck hair cards. You know, I remember those cards from last year. They had famous people's hair right on the cards. Those were awesome. I know, and this year's lineup's even got better personalities. We got like Beethoven, Robert E. Lee, Susan B. Anthony, and even Jolton Joe DiMaggio. You know, I'm going to find so many of those cards, I'm going to put together a wig. Don't be a moron. Them cards are super collectible. Last year, one for Abe Lincoln sold for big bucks. Well, listen, I can't wait to get some of those hair cards, but, you know, I, I can't sell them. What would the card condo be without cards? Yeah, you got a point there. Well, rest up, Terry. We got until April 8th, so get going on your rehab. Hey, Tommy, watch me start my rehab a little early today. Technique that the doc showed me. It's all about separate, tear, pull, and grab. Separate, tear, pull, and grab. Separate, tear, pull, and grab.